Pug skin problem scabs can be difficult to deal with. Whether as itchy dog skin, flaky dog skin or just dog hair loss can be a real cause for worry to May dog owners. This article will show you how to treat your dog from crusty dog skin scabs that can appear all over her back. I wanted to share this with everyone in case there is anyone else out there that has faced this frustrating situation. Our pug has been suffering from a horrible skin problem which has caused dog fur loss, redness, scabs, itchiness, and many other related dog skin cases. For years, we tried everything suggested by several vets and no one had any ideas other than the typical mumble jumble standard dog skin scabs prognosis it must be allergies. To that extent, we tried the dietary food elimination type of dog feeding. This where we took the dog off any type of food and reintroduced it one by one to see which food was not good for the dog. Then we tried the special foods for allergies, the monthly cortisone shots. Followed by antibiotics to deal with the staph infection that followed the cortisone shot treatment. Nothing worked. Apart from making sure that our home was also safe for our dog. And free from anything that can trigger these allergies that cause skin problem scabs as an allergic reaction. We knew it all along that it was important before bringing a dog home. To eliminate anything that might cause an issue with the dog's well-being. We made sure all of the medicine was under key and lock so he does not eat anything that can cause severe damage. We also took care of some of the houseplants as they can be toxic and needed to be kept out of our home. Even his dog immunization shots, etc. were all up to date so nothing was left to chance. It was just horrible and our pug was grumpy and miserable. As time passed, we got desperate and posted on several pug websites and no one had any other ideas either. I was at a total loss and felt horrible that I couldn't make it better for my sweet pug dog. Well, a vet tech told me to contact a lady in our town that had dealt with various skin problems for other people's pets. Her trick was using special additives to their foods etc. Your dog cannot speak, so just listen to his body language. If you notice the dog being hesitant in a new situation, remove him from the situation. This could cause a human or the other canine to get bit. Look out for nonverbal cues and follow what the dog can guide your actions. I wasn't really into the idea of supplements and holistic stuff but I was desperate. Dogs much like humans can suffer from a common intestinal yeast outbreak called leaky gut syndrome. Now if you are new to leaky gut syndrome in dogs, this is when the dog's body experiences an overload of yeast in the intestines. And this yeast will work its way out through the skin, which in return, causes these symptomatic dog hair loss. Dog skin scabs, dry and flaky skin which many dogs will constantly scratch even to a bleeding point. It is not a good idea to train them in areas where a lot of people are distractions. They may get distracted and not learn a thing. Now. If for whatever reason you are more of a black and white kind of a person, you know the type of prove it to me kind of person. In many cases always leaning on the scientific side of proof, you will need to just have to trust in waiting for the outcome. Most dog owners who have dealt with pug skin problems scabs would recommend enzymes. Luckily, if your dog has suffered from dog skin scabs, dog leaky gut treatment can be ordered online and if you decide to go ahead and try it, you can order dog's leaky gut treatment below this video. Links will take you to Amazon where you will also find many other options for dog gut cleansers. As much as dogs love the outdoor life. Where they get to run wild and chase butterflies and squirrels in the park. This is the most times dogs are vulnerable to allergens and contact with jigger bites or fleas. So to make sure that your dog is safe, never take your dog out of your yard without a proper dog leash. You are the only one responsible for your dog's safety when you are out and about. I wish talking about zymes that helped our dog with pug skin problem scabs didn't sound like a long sales letter. In all honesty, I'm not trying to endorse any dog enzymes brand or product that helps put leaky gut in dogs under control. I am just a normal pug dog owner like everyone who has watched their dog suffer from crusty dog scabs on his back. But I wanted to tell you guys about this since I wish I'd heard about it myself way back. Before my dog went through the ringer with pyoderma, dog skin ulcer and superficial bacterial folliculitis for years. There are two powders slash granules that you mix into his food and also some drops that go into the drinking water each day. That's all. I didn't give it much hope but in two weeks, I noticed my nearly bald pug had new hair growing. The thing with superficial bacterial folliculitis is dog hair loss. But brushing your dog daily can do much more than keep them from shedding all over your home. Brushing them daily can ensure your dog's coat is shiny and healthy looking. The reason for this is that brushing motion will distribute the oil through the dog's fur. With his boldness apart, 
Everyone in my family kept saying I think he looks better. I think he's getting more hair. He was scratching less, he was in a happier mood. And he went from sickly looking and smelly to getting more fur and fewer scabs in only two weeks. They warn you with this product that after about a month, they will go through a cleansing period. Where a lot of the yeast in the gut will come out through the skin and they will look really bad for a little bit. Dot. The other thing with dog skin problem scabs is the itching of the skin and ears area. So make sure that your dog's nails are always trimmed weekly. If they start to curl, your dog could scratch themselves to a bleeding point plus those open ulcers can expose them to bacterial infection. You can use store-bought clippers and do this at home. If you lack the confidence to do this job on your own, simply take him to a groomer. It doesn't cost very much to get his nails trimmed. When scabs take over, pets can get pretty grumpy, lethargic and tons of scabs. So make sure to use medicated shampoo as they one of the most recommended, by vets, and they get much better faster if not within days. Now our dog looks almost like he did 3 years ago when this all started. I guess this is the part where I get to tell you that keeping the treatment going until running out of them is the best option to be sure that skin problem scabs are completely sorted. But my boy is so much better in only a month and he's happy. He's enjoying life again and absolutely has a bounce in his step and a sparkle in his eyes again. Always teach your dog understands how to walk properly on a leash. This will make going for walks more enjoyable for you. Even if you're using a loose leash from time to time, helping your dog to understand this command is a good idea. I would have never ever believed someone else telling me this, I was just so desperate. Dot. Even our vet who was very doubtful was amazed when I dropped by to show him our dog's skin problem scabs progress. So, once again, not to be selling or endorsing any product. I only wanted to share a success story with anyone out there that needs help with this kind of situation. Sometimes as pet owners we get so lenient when a dog has scabs on the back or anywhere near the tail. But following through according to your vet's suggestions if your dog needs some skin care or special attention and medicine. He might not want to wear that flea collar on his neck and head, but it's prescribed for a reason. Now with every dog skin problem with scabs, it never is just about allergies. Sometimes it can be an imbalance of yeast in the dog's system, it matters whether they have lots of yeast or fewer in their gut. Dogs in most cases are susceptible to yeast infections which can manifest on their skin or can attack the dog's ears. This is also true for any dog that has developed underactive immune systems, as a side effect from either taking steroid or antibiotic medications. Your dog may also be suffering from an allergic reaction to the yeast itself if it is in short supply or in excess supply inside the dog's intestines. Skin care for your canine is part of making sure that you are providing your dog with all the affection. As is often the case, many times owners focus more on bad behavior rather than good ones. This can cause lots of problems for you. Don't try to give your dog praise five times more than the amount of time you scold them. Your dog will more likely showcase proper behavior if you do that. Redness that covers a majority of your dog's skin can indicate a yeast allergy. When you have a dog, Skincare regimen will guarantee that he's much better cared for long before it reaches to a